For the first time, the Taliban has admitted that uh, longtime leader Mullah Omar died over two years ago. The revelations are buried in a biography of new leader Mullah Akhtar Mansour. Correspondent Shaiban Ari has more on what it means on the past and future of the Taliban in Afghanistan. An internal struggle within the Taliban. The Islamist Afghani movement has published a biography of the man named as its new leader late last month. Mullah Akhtar Muhammad Mansour. The biography is an attempt to legitimize Mansour as the Taliban leader, despite internal tensions. The 5,000-word-long document states Mansour was born in 1968 and took part in the Mujahideen uprising against the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in the 1970s and 80s. It elaborates at length on his time as aviation minister under the Taliban regime during the 1990s. Mansour also served as Air Force chief and head of Afghanistan's national airline, Ariana. Following the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan, Mansour again returned to combat duties and was eventually appointed by former Taliban leader Mullah Omar as a military commander charged with organizing the fight against the U.S.-led military coalition. The biography puts a heavy emphasis on Mansour's scholarly traits and his modest nature, mentioning his preference for loose, neat, and clean clothes. Other sources, however, have noted his extensive travels as a Taliban minister in the Arab world, during which he established a private satellite phone business in the UAE. He has also been linked to drug manufacturing in Helmand province. The movement will uh, disintegrate uh, into factions, and uh, it will be very, very difficult to uh, keep it as a cohesive force as it has existed uh, uh, since the mid-90s. The biography's release comes as Mansour's appointment has been challenged by certain members of the Taliban, including Mullah Omar's brother and eldest son. They claim the movement's Shura Council was not consulted. One splinter group even says Mansour was responsible for Mullah Omar's death in April 2013 as part of an organized coup. Mansour has received support from al-Qaeda with a public pledge of allegiance released by the group's leader, Ayman al-Zawahiri, Mansour is seen by al-Qaeda as the leader of the true Islamic Caliphate. Interestingly, the biography states Mullah Omar's passing was kept a secret so as to not give the U.S. and its allies a boost during the final years of the official military mission in Afghanistan, which ended in December 2014.